What's going on, everybody? It's your boy PTK Blam back in the building with another weekly video. Everybody, it is mid week, it is hump day Wednesday. How's everybody enjoying their week? Before we go any further and dive into today's video, which is going to be a very, very juicy video today, I just want to say thank you and shout out to everybody new here on the channel. Let's keep pushing for the subscriptions guys if you enjoy the content hit that like button on all the videos go back into the archives check out what your boy got in the vault if you enjoy it let's keep pushing forward here subscribe to the channel share it on all social media platforms got a lot of big things lined up in 20 19 as well guys and let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see anything new any suggestions you guys want to make i want to make this channel as awesome as i can possibly make it in 2019 i got some great ideas guys some phenomenal fucking ideas and i definitely want to get you guys okay on those things so we'll be talking about those things a little bit later and also before i dive into the video the shop podcast will be live once again this saturday at 5 p.m mountain time guys be there B Square got an awesome guest lined up for the week, guys. It is amazing. I just, I just, I love the video game community, guys. Every time I do this, every single week, I prepare the podcast. It just amazes me how you can hook up with people and link up with people one week and then you just make friends kind of the rest of your life, essentially. So it's an amazing thing. If you guys uh, want to see that podcast, once again, make sure you subscribe. All of us on the podcast, our Twitter links will be below as well, guys. Check those out. Follow us to know what's going on with us on Twitter. Now, let's dive into today's topic. Now, I know what you're thinking if you're looking at the thumbnail. Blam, you are tripping. What are you talking about? Confirm. What are you talking about, Blam? Okay, now, I, I want to tell you guys what I don't want this video to be, okay? I don't want this video to turn into me trying to bash a PlayStation game and or Last of Us. That is not this video's goal okay guys please do not try and turn it into that you guys are always pretty kosher so i don't really have to worry about that too much on this channel but that's not what this video is about not saying that the game isn't going to be phenomenal when it comes out i do want to make a couple of points now let's go ahead and dive in guys now today i was casually surfing twitter kind of just you know on my phone here and there and i did come across a quick tweet and it kind of raised my eyebrows because this is something that we've been talking about for the last couple weeks this is something that we've been speculating since the last e3 you know about sony and how they're kind of not running out of games but they're kind of coming to their last little bit of games essentially before they transition into that new generation essentially with the ps5 which most of us are on on record we're thinking another year maybe two max before we actually see some new hardware that's from xbox and sony so it's kind of both sides now uh, a guy I'd never heard of him before but kurt margin now i think that's how you say his name he's a co-game director on the last of us part two as well as a game director on uncharted the lost legacy uh, at naughty dog so he works for a fantastic company but he tweeted out today something very, very, very interesting. I'm going to read this quote on quote, guys. He said, hey, game devs, we're trying to make a game over here. Please help us. We're looking for contract designers to do real work on real levels in The Last of Us Part 2. Retweet. Essentially what that was is like a job description. Like, hey, we're trying to make a uh, game over here. We're, I don't know exactly what the listing is for more specifically, but we're trying to make a game over here. We need help making and specifically said the last of us part two now you guys know what i said i do not think that that game is going to be coming 2019 a lot of people are still thinking maybe late 2019 i don't think and i've been on record and a lot of people on the podcast as well have been on record saying i don't think that game's coming 2019 there's been various different reasons why the biggest reason before we got this information today is just the fact that we've seen the game once or twice and we haven't seen any actual like anybody with a controller in their hand walk through gameplay we just seen some cinematic trailers and then we actually saw some gameplay but it was more like scripted gameplay you know no controller in hand nobody on stage or any three was pre-prepared gameplay it looked phenomenal we didn't see any actually infected characters at all the game looked great but i, I was once i saw that and that was pretty much all we saw that's when i knew okay this game isn't as close as some people think it may be to coming out i'm definitely definitely thinking mid late 2020 somewhere around there for the holidays especially if we get the ps5 coming in 2020 maybe alongside that release i mean it will be dope if you put the last of us 2 that's going to guarantee you a huge 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 shells right off the beginning with the new console if you can hold the game out that long and pair it with the two so that's another reason i thought that this was very interesting and this kind of seamless what we talked about guys i'm sorry 
I just don't think the game was as close as a lot of people thought. I mean, look at it. They're not even done. Now, I don't know if these are multiplayer levels because there is a multiplayer aspect to The Last of Us 2 as well. Or if they're like actual, you know, single player levels. To me, either or. It doesn't matter. I mean, whether it's multiplayer or single player, I think that the game's not done yet. And that's plain as day, essentially. I don't really know any other way to break it down. So if you thought the game was coming potentially 2019... I mean, the writing on the wall to me was already there a long time ago when that's all we saw at E3. And it's no knock. Please make The Last of Us 2 the best possible game it could possibly be. A, a game like that, you don't want to rush anyway. So it's not that huge of a knock on it. But it does drive home the point that I've been making here the last probably five to six months. That that game is not a 2019 game. We're not going to see that in 2019. So I don't know, guys. I'm sorry to say, I mean... Uh, Please thumbs up the video, <laughs> but if let me know that in the comment section, guys, what you think about that. Do you think that's true? Do you guys think that cements the fact that we're not going to see it in 2019 or are you already on that sign of fits? Let me know, guys, down in the comment section, but let's have fun with this, okay? Let's keep it light, keep it fun. We got to talk about it, guys. We all play games. We got to talk about it, guys. But anyway, I'm not going to hold you guys up too much longer. Once again, subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers, guys. Got a lot of big things lined up, man. We're talking about moving this podcast, taking it off of just one platform on YouTube to multiple different ones. So let me know, guys, if you guys listen to anything else, Spotify, iTunes, you know, the idea about moving the podcast to other, you know, streams, essentially. So once again, peace out. Love you guys. Let's have fun with this. Bye-bye.